how we ended gangsterism in Chinatown and became PC. Funk. Funk. Miles Davis, Red China Blues, Red White China Blues, Red White Porcelain Blues, Red White and Blue. You know what Red China is. Oh no, White China. <laughs> you know, some of you shoot up. <laughs> All right, funk has its history beginning when Europeans owned slaves, but not their human souls. Music that came from Africa, from the tribes of each village, transcended from the traveling barristers, the griots. You might disregard this thought, but present trend as presented by New York City's poet slam founder, Bob Holman. <laughs> has a griot accompanying him with his poetry since he had traveled to Timbuktu to follow the trails of beat poet Ted Jones while Ginsberg was discovering his sexual orientation, which might have been unnatural for Amore Baraka and Ted Jones' perceptions. However, Ginsburg opened a whole new identity for the gay and lesbian movement in America. As an artist, I always enjoyed music and wanted to develop my musical skills, so I became a musicologist of alternative jazz music. However, somehow, I became a friend of the family by their daughter Nora <clears throat> many years ago, who is <clears throat> now studying yoga and photography, Sam and Ann Charters write and publishes books about the beat generation. As a youngster, Sam Charters became a musician playing in New Orleans bordellos, as Nora states. He also purchased numerous old recordings of American blues musicians, eventually amassing a huge and valuable collection and beginning to understand that blues and jazz were connected in the history of black music, Wikipedia. Sam also claims that Baraka had plagiarized his book, The Blue Men, The Story and the Music of the Men Who Made the Blues, 1967, New York Oak Publications, as told to me after Amore Baraka's death in January 9, 2014. Unlike Sam and Bob, who had traveled to Africa, Amore Baraka stayed home. He focused his writings and performing with jazz musicians. However, I believe Amore broke away from the beats to dwell into his own poetry, drama, fiction, essays, and music criticism to satirize America's inequities. Amaray became the poet laureate of New Jersey until 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 9/11, and ultimately considered one of the founders of the Black Arts Movement, as described in Academy of American Poets. Okay. Um, one minute. Oh shit, man. Right. All right. Right. Play this. Miles. Hello, my To Miles Davis did a funky tune with electronics called Red China Blues in 1972. Get up with it album. That was when Nixon went to China or something like that. Rolling Stones wrote in the April 10, 1975, described the tune as Red China Blues as a hard edged number with Miles back on trumpet from his, you know, disappearance. Purdy Purdy and Cornell Dupree are in the rhythm section and a Welling Blues Heart 
that would seem incongruous on a Miles album fits in perfectly. It starts with a slow bluesy rolling tune with a harmonica solo and back back and back bass slowly the horns come in and then the guitar solo intercedes wowing with the harmonica. The sad bluesy sounds and riffs emphasizes the tension of strings while horns just blare in the background and sometimes very quietly, not to disturb the guitar's mean moaning solo or battle with the harmonica, at least Miles Davis recognizes the Chinese plights and struggles under the communist flag. <laughs>